Alrighty. Loops. Um, so, I guess everybody, all of the dense students are trying to, or trying often trying to be convinced by all of the sales reps um, at all the different loops companies who are coming around at the moment um, saying that we need um, yeah, magnification to uh, make our lives easier as dentists. Um, and I agree, I think that it's very helpful in terms of um, improving your, um, your vision, your access to um, better posture, ergonomics, all of those sorts of good things that we are after for longevity, but that all comes at a price point of about three, four, five grand. Um, and personally, as a student who um, is kind of supporting themselves, it's a lot of money, um, especially to be throwing out um, on something that you've never used before. Like personally, I would want to try something, know how I work with it before I go and invest that sort of amount of money for a product. Um, and so originally the idea of getting loops, I've tried on a bunch um, from different companies, thought they were all fine, but none of them, there was no super clear cut decision on which company to go with and why. And I also just felt so uncomfortable because I was like, well, I've never worked with loops in, um, well, in a clinical situation. I've never um, had to look at my tray and back and forth. So I sort of thought, why not give some cheap ones a go? Nothing to lose. If they're good, they're good. If they're crap, they're crap. Um, and then I can just call it what it is and go and buy a good pet. These cost me a hundred dollars. <laughs> I kid you not, they are the best cheap investment for a trial run, I guess you could say. Um, I think the long term, I don't think that these would be super suitable. Um, so the way that they work, it's just you um, rotate them um, until you basically stop seeing double, double vision. I don't know. There's not really instructions on how to calibrate them. So you just kind of put them on, wiggle them around until it seems clear. Um, so I think that long-term use, there's probably some issues there um, in terms of um, your eyes sort of overcompensating, perhaps. I'm not sure, I'm not an optometrist. My sister is, she'll probably grill me after this. But um, they don't have prism, which I do know helps um, assist convergence and sort of um, takes a bit of the effort away from your eyes having to always look in at a certain close point. Um, so these don't have prisms, but I think quite a lot of the um, more expensive loops do. Um, they're obviously um, flip up, um, so that, you know, if you want to use it, that's great. Um, I didn't when I tried them on. Um, when I tried these in clinic, honestly, they're amazing. They're clear as, um, clear as crystal, crystal clear, same thing. Um, so yeah, you've got like really good vision. I found that I was, um, had a lot better posture. Um, the light, our brand new Optech actually has awesome lights now. So the light was sort of whatever. Um, I got this little clip on like, I think it was $40 for like a clip on little light. It's actually pretty awesome. It's even got the nice little composite curing cover um, to slow that down. But to be honest, I didn't use it that much. So I think that that's not as much of a benefit. Um, these loops did come with um, the LED lights with a cord. I found it super annoying. So I'm really glad that I actually tried it out in a cheap version because if I invest in, um, I guess, expensive loops, I won't be using one with a cord. It is so annoying. I got caught in my hair, got caught like behind me on my chair. Like I was just getting like coat hanging everywhere I walked around. So yeah, I'm not a fan of that, um, but each to their own. It is a little bit lighter. Um, but as for these loops, right? Um, yeah, super clear. You can add them like, so I've actually got some prescription safety glasses coming um, with my prescription reading prescription in them so I'm going to unscrew these and actually stick them onto those so it's a great um, cheap alternative I think that um, if you're going for loops from what I've sort of sussed out from talking to a lot of different people I think ergonomics um, a big part of sort of what people are looking for um, so I think the ergos are probably a good 
good look, but um, if you're just looking for something through the lens um, or a cheaper option, these are absolutely fabulous. Like they're, they're really clear to see through. Um, they give you all the benefits, all the trial, um, trial and error of getting used to it. Um, I got the 3.5 mag. Um, they're really good. I thought it would be useful in terms of um, like my concept was higher mag, like less hunching <laughs> to see, uh, which is kind of true, but I still did find myself like arcing my neck to like look around. Um, and I actually found that 3.5 for me felt a little bit too much. Like I feel like dropping back to maybe a three or a 2.5 at this point in my career is probably actually all that's necessary. Um, I found that you can kind of get caught when you're um, looking from your tray to, to your working space, going backwards and forwards. If you're, you know, looking to change instruments, you can get a bit dizzy um, with the higher magnification. Um, so that was good to try out, I guess, in a cheap option. Um, yeah, I don't know um, what else to sort of say about these. They're a great cheap alternative. They've got all of the basic bells and whistles that you kind of need. Um, you get like really good vision, really good clarity. They fit anyone. Um, they're just a really good trial um, for what you're, I guess, doing as a, as a student. I think like all things, when you're a student, you sort of don't know what you're searching for. Um, and in that, you can make a lot of errors if you have, aren't used to using um, new instruments or loops specifically. And I think that this is a really good starter option. Um, you can see what you like. You can see if you prefer a higher mag, a lower mag, um, wireless light, not wireless light. You can see um, if you think that your um, posture needs an ergonomic sort of um, loop or whether you're happy with like a through the lens concept. Um, I think that they're a really good starting point. Um, I don't think that they'd be that good for your eyes long-term use. I don't think there's anything like bad about them, but I think the fact that they're just DIY calibrated probably isn't that good for your eyes. If they're always moving um, around, you always have to uh, rearrange them. If you put them, if you take them off, you always have to sort of like rearrange them. It takes two seconds, so it's not that much of an inconvenience but um, it still does happen, whereas that wouldn't happen if you had um, through the lens sort of loops. Um, what else? Yeah, not too sure. I don't have any other comments. Um, if you've got other questions, let me know. But yeah, generally, definitely bang for your buck for like first off trial um, for some loops. Um, yeah, I think I'll use these for a while. Um, I'm not that interested in um, spending three or four thousand dollars on something that I can sort of replace very easily for a hundred bucks. Um, so yeah, they're really great. I'd give them like a solid 10 out of 10. Like I really like can't fault them. Um, the only reason that I would lean towards getting, I, I want to say professional loops, but these are technically the same thing. Um, but I guess more tailored loops that are through the lens to your um, modifications, specifications. Um, I think the only reason that, yeah, I would want to seek those out is ergonomics um, for the ergo loops. Other than that, these are solid. So if you're not sure um, or if you're on the fence like I was in terms of dropping a few grand, um, these are a great alternative. Um, I definitely feel like I have more understanding and more knowledge about what I would want in a loop, um, having just worked with these. Um, and yeah, to be honest, I've, it's taken away any desire to get an expensive pair for now. Um, so we'll see how long they last, but thumbs up for me.